Hello there, my name's Andrew Smith from the Engineers Academy and this video is intended for anyone who's considering or has previously considered studying an HNC in engineering, particularly if you're unable to attend college or university in order to carry out your studies. So first of all, it's important to understand that there's a couple of different study options available to you. And the first option would be to study a course at college. Now HNCs can be studied full-time or part-time and what we normally see is that employed learners would attend a course on a day release basis. A traditional day release model for an HNC usually lasts for two years. Another option may be to study in the evenings and not all colleges will offer this option but if your employer isn't prepared to release you on a day release basis then you can always study an HNC in the evenings and an evening offer would normally be two nights a week for two years. So it is quite a significant commitment that's required. And a final option is block release. And again, this would need buy-in from the employer. So an employer may send a learner or learners for two week blocks at a time as an example. And that is a model that was adopted at a college where I previously worked. A number of learners from a broader region were sent to college in two week blocks and were put up in accommodation so that they could attend college. Now those options aren't appropriate for everyone, particularly if you work away or you work offshore as an example. So another alternative would be distance learning. And again, there's a few different options there. You could study with a university or college that offers a distance learning HNC program, or you could study with a private provider. Now what I want to tell you about today is an alternative, which is studying with the Engineers Academy. And what you'll see throughout this video is that there we're able to draw on the benefits of working with a university or college, as well as working with a private provider. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. So if the only option available to you is to study via distance learning, then we need to consider the benefits of studying with a university or college when compared with the benefits of studying with a private provider. So the first point that's worthy of discussion is reputation. Now, long-standing universities and colleges, you would expect to have a good reputation, whereas some of the lesser known private providers might not have that reputation. And where that's most important is in terms of who becomes the certifying institution. Now what I mean by that is that when you complete your HNC you'll receive a certificate and on that certificate will be the name of an institution or provider. So would you prefer that your HNC was awarded by XYZ College or would you prefer if it was awarded by ABC Private Provider? Bearing in mind that future employers may ask to see that certificate. Now another benefit of working with a university or college is that they're going to have robust quality systems. And the assumption there would be that the quality of the resources and the quality of the assessments is going to be better. Now that is a generalisation, but the universities and colleges will tend to have a better relationship with the awarding bodies. And with that comes a certain degree of credibility. Something else to consider is how you intend to pay for the course. So universities and colleges will be able to accept student finance, but they'll also be able to accept things such as ELKS credits, which are for ex-servicemen and service women. Some private providers do offer finance options and loans. So again, that's another consideration when deciding where to study an HNC. Another thing to consider is student engagement. And this is a little bit more difficult to measure, but how do we know if the students enrolled on these programs are actually engaging in the resources? How do we know that they're helping them to learn? And that's something we'll discuss again in a moment. Another consideration is the responsiveness of the institution. Let's say, for example, you're stuck on a question and you need support. How quickly will a university or college or a private provider get back to you? Now, from speaking with students, my understanding is that most private providers are better at this and universities and colleges are not so good at supporting their students. And again, this is a generalisation, but if we try to understand the reason behind this, universities and colleges have lots of other provisions. They have their day release courses and they have their full time courses and distance learning is a very small part of their business. Therefore, the amount of staff and resource that they allocate to that distance learning provision is relatively small. Now, where that may also become an issue is when you complete assignments and assessments and you send them to the provider. How quickly are they going to mark them assessments and give you the work back? Sometimes assignments need to be reworked, meaning things need to be added, removed or amended. And if you don't receive that assignment back in a timely manner, then it stretches out the whole assessment process. 
Most students like to finish an assessment before moving on to the next outcome. And so the quicker that assessment turnaround, the better for the student. It's actually better for the awarding institution as well because they want the students to progress through the course towards completion. So I did mention that there's an alternative and the alternative is studying with the Engineers Academy. And the difference with the Engineers Academy is that we're a private provider, but we work in collaboration with academic institutions. So we have partner colleges. Now what this means is that we carry the reputation of the colleges that we work with. We select our partners and our partners select us based on what each party can offer. This also means that when you receive your final certificate, although you've studied with the Engineers Academy, you'll actually receive a certificate where the awarding institution is our partner college. Another benefit of this is that we adopt the quality assurance processes of our partner college. So our partner college quality assures our resources and our assessments and also reviews our assessment decisions. So once again, this provides our students with a reassurance that our assessment decisions are accurate. Another benefit of this is that we can accept student finance through our partnership and we can also accept ELPS credits. So now let's move back to the topic of student engagement. How do we know whether students enrolled on a programme are actually engaging in the resources? Now traditionally, distance learning was studied through textbooks and course notes. And in actual fact, that isn't the preference of most people today. All we need to do is look at the popularity of how-to videos. So what the Engineers Academy uses is video tutorials and self-marking practice questions. And I just want to show you a quick review that was posted by one of our students. So this student was working through our bridging courses before starting an HNC as part of a day release model. And I just want to pick up in the second sentence where he states, Maths was not my strong point in school. Neither was it my strong point during my RAF apprenticeship. I think I'm a bit slower on the uptake with regards to methods and processes used. And in the classroom environment, I felt that I got slightly left behind. The use of video tutorials and practice questions is the perfect combination for me. And I seem to understand it a lot more than I ever have, as I can go at my own pace and do lots of practice so it's cemented in my mind. So there we can see a clear statement from one of our students that this method works for him and works for many of our other students. Another indication of engagement is how many views we're getting on our YouTube videos. And these are daily views. And we see from around August time, views somewhere in the order of 100 views a day, climbing to around 200 views a day in November. And now in January 2019, around 300 views per day. So as we gain traction, we can see that a lot more people are watching and using our videos. So the next point for discussion is responsiveness and support. So if you have a question and you contact your provider for assistance, how quickly do they come back to you with an answer? So it's exactly the same with the Engineers Academy model. You watch the videos and you do the practice questions, but invariably from time to time, you're still going to have questions. So let's take a quick look at another review from one of our students. And I'm just going to pick up on the last sentence here from the student. Thanks Andy for this course and other courses I will do on your website. Well managed, easy to use, support from the admin is brilliant. So again, that's a great testimony to how quickly we're able to respond to questions and requests. Now the final point to mention is assessment turnaround. All of the assessments for our accredited programs are submitted online and the assessor will receive a notification as soon as the assessment is completed and submitted. The only business the Engineers Academy is involved with is distance learning engineering courses. So those assessments are our priority. Unlike with other college and university providers, this isn't just a small part of our business. This is our business. Okay, so finally, I just want to tell you a little bit about some of our courses. As mentioned, we deliver HNC programs and we deliver those in general engineering, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. And I'm going to provide some links under this video so that you can review the content of those courses. In addition, we have bridging courses and the purpose of the bridging courses is to prepare people for the HNC. A lot of our students have been out of academic study for quite a long period of time and the bridging courses are designed to help to prepare them for the HNC. Another benefit is that they're very low cost 
so you can try the resources, you can get used to studying via distance learning before spending a much larger sum of money on HNC programmes. So it's ideal for getting used to the study platform and getting used to self-motivated study. Again, I've got a brief statement from one of our students. And this student was studying the maths bridging course. He states, this maths bridging course has been excellent. I previously signed up for an HNC with another provider, thinking that I wouldn't need to do a maths bridging course. However, having not done any mathematics since leaving school 22 years ago, I was very wrong, ultimately resulting in me having to drop out of the course. The content and structure of the Engineers Academy bridging course has been great, and I now feel that in a short space of time, I am back at a level where I'm confident to move on to something more challenging. Again, the support and communication from Andy has been great. Now, this student has subsequently gone on to study the Mechanical Engineering Bridging course with a view to enrolling on our HNC programme later in the year. We do have another course which is designed to help students who are studying Level 3s in Engineering. All of the Level 3 qualifications in Engineering now have a mandatory unit that's assessed by an exam, and we've designed a course specifically for helping students to prepare for that exam. And I have another testimony for this course. And this review was actually written by someone who delivers the unit. He states, this was an excellent product which I found very useful whilst delivering the Unit 1 exam on the BTEC Level 3 engineering course for my current school. The communication and the course content was excellent, could not fault the Engineers Academy, would recommend to any engineering teacher, student and parents. So again, that's excellent feedback, particularly from someone who's involved in delivering the qualification. Now finally, we're also developing some bespoke CPD courses for some of our customers and clients. And this has really come about because people from the company have been working through bridging units and have enrolled onto HNC programmes. So employers are also realising the benefit of this type of distance learning delivery model. Now we also have some sample lessons available. So if you'd like to try some of these resources for yourself, then below this video, there'll be the opportunity to sign up for our sample lessons. So I mentioned at the start that this video was intended for anyone who is interested in studying an HNC in engineering. And if you are interested in continuing your engineering education, then I would encourage you to find out a little bit more about what we have to offer. Directly below this video, we have links to each of our HNC programs, and we also have links to our bridging courses. So if you'd like to study an HNC, but are unsure whether you're able to work at a suitable level, or perhaps you've been out of education for a long period of time, then please take the time to look at the contents of our bridging courses. And finally, if you're still a little unsure, then please feel free to sign up for our sample lessons. You can also find us on Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube if you'd like to keep up to date with Engineers Academy developments. Anyway, thank you for your time and thank you for listening.